Welcome everybody. It is Crypto Moose. In the Moose is Luce Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. What we're going to do is get into an episode I've been dying to film for at least at least four or five days now. And we're going to be talking about the Dega ISPO. But in specifics, we're going to be going over the rewards dashboard. And this I am very excited about. Um, I've been doing a lot of content this week around Dega. I've been mentioning it. And I'm probably going to do another episode tonight that will premiere or it will be published Thursday or Friday. So if you like this video, um, definitely smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you want to learn more. Um, we have tons of content. Comment down below what other episodes and what other like-minded um, you know, creators you would like for us to reach out and get on the channel, etc. So we've been doing a couple more interviews. Um, I know I've talked with Fareed. I did an interview with Steve from Vifi, and we had a really good conversation. So he had a lot to say. So right now we're going to talk about Dega. So you're going to go to Dega.org. If you want, you can go on the website and follow along as we do this. This is also going to be a tutorial. So we're going to show you how to basically see your rewards. So let's get to one thing first. So what is Dega? So Dega, and I'm going to be doing a video specifically on the, the three things that I think Dega is providing to a lot of this uh, blockchain infrastructure that we haven't seen before. So they got three unique um, tools, products that you can think of. Um, it's under technology, so check that out if you want. Um, but Dega, they're helping Web3 games, so like imagine um, cornucopias, they're providing them with tools that they can use so that they can just focus on the creatives. Um, basically, they can just focus on building their game and they can take care a lot of the Web3 technology side of things. So that's what we're gonna get into in a different episode. So I wanna keep it pretty brief. The other thing about Dega is that they have their ISPO. This is not financial advice, but I'm calling this the MELD 2.0. This is a massive opportunity in my eyes. So an ISPO, it's an initial stake pool offering. You could imagine an IPO when it comes to stocks. A company goes public and you can buy shares of that company. Well, with an ISPO, what you can do is you can delegate your Cardano assets to a stake pool and because you earn some of the new supply in Cardano, well, with an ISPO, you will earn some Dega. So if you delegate to the Dega 1 ISPO, uh, the Dega 1 stake pool, you are going to be eligible to reward some tokens, be rewarded with tokens down the road. So that's what we're going to cover, the Dega dashboard. So go to Dega.org if you haven't already. This is going to be beneficial if you are already delegating. If you haven't done that yet, then check out this video. It's called the Dega Multi-Chain ISPO. This is for Cardano. It is multi-chain. I'm not going to get into that. But Dega is a lot bigger of a project than I thought it was. Um, so check out this video. I show you step-by-step -step how to do this. Um, yeah, so do that. So I'm already delegating with this wallet, the Trezor Model T. So I've got a Trezor Model T that holds Cardano. And as you can see, I'm delegating to the Dega um, stake pool here. So what we're going to do is show you how to see the rewards. So we're going to go over the rewards dashboard. This is a tutorial. Every epoch is five days. Um, what that means is that every epoch you get into, you're going to be rewarded with an estimate of rewards that you will receive. Plus there's bonuses, etc. But to keep it short and sweet, if you go to the website, you can go to ISPO rewards dashboard. So if you wanted to find the stake pool, go to the ISPO. Rewards dashboard is what we're going to cover right now. So I may already have the wallet in here. So I'm just going to clear addresses and I'm going to show you how to do this. What I'm going to do right now is show you guys how to find your stake key for your Cardano address. For example, I've got my NAMI wallet right here. So all I'm going to do is go to receive, copy my public address. Then we're going to go to Cardano scan. So once you paste your address up here, so we will paste it. 
search, and this will be our wallet. You're gonna scroll down and go to controlled state key. We're going to copy this key right here. Now we're gonna to go to dashboards.dega.org. We have links in the description below for you. We're gonna paste that and we're going to add our address. So that's how you add your stake address to see your rewards. What you can do as well is add more addresses. So for example, I am also staking with my ledger. So I can go to receive, I can copy the public address, paste, search, and I will copy another stake key. And then I will go back to the dashboard, paste, and add another address. So there we go. Now you can see our live ADA staked amount and we can see our accumulated rewards. So that's how you do it. That's how you find your stake key. So it's going to be cardanoscan.io. We will have links for you in the description below. Say you're staking with your Roy. I recommend it for this stake pool, not a bad idea. Go to receive, reward, generated address. We're gonna copy that and we're going to paste it right here. And add address. As you can see, I am earning roughly 457 Dega, and that's every epoch now. So it's showing I have about 12,000 ADA in my wallet. So if I go to pool.pm, and what I'll do is I will find my address. There we go. And I have tutorials on this. You can see that I have 12,235 ADA. Um, I'm doing some other trading with my ADA now. So I'll have about 13,000 here real soon. Here you get a live stake. There's what, 19 million, almost 20 million delegated. That's amazing. Um, and one thing I wanted to mention, and for those of you, I'm gonna be doing a video. If you go to dega.org, okay, I want you to check something out. So we're gonna to go to the white paper. Most of you have not read the white paper. I know this, okay? Go to white paper. What this is, is a document. It tells you everything you need to know about the project. I recommend this, okay? Check it out. People are going to comment in the future going, I miss this, crap. That's why I'm making this video. For those of you that subscribe to this channel, this is the most important video of 2023. Hands down, hands down, huge opportunity. So um, something I checked out, there's a chart somewhere down here. I wanna go over two things. We'll go over the chart, but there's two things, okay? Uh, where's the first one? So one thing that I found interesting, and this is big, we'll go over that in a different episode. Too much to cover. Here's one of them. So if you take a look at why Dig is gonna be big, well, they're providing tools for AAA level games, for other Web3 games. And their thesis around it is that the market cap of, for example, you have um, an estimate of by 2028, and you gotta think years ahead, um, 122 billion worth of NFTs, 400 billion by 2025 in virtual, um, world revenue. So you have gaming revenue, 435 billion by 2028. The gaming industry is massive. I'm not even a gamer. I just invest because I know what this all means. But what I want to get into is the distribution after this page right here. So if you look right here, the protocol infrastructure hosting services provided by Dega, you have Dega MetaChain full node. Ethereum layer two in layer three nodes. This is a multi-chain project. This is so much bigger than what I thought. And that's why I'm gonna be doing a dedicated video. We're gonna unpack what Dega is and we're gonna to go together and we're gonna go through most of the white paper. It'll probably be a half hour, hour of a video. It's gonna be well worth it um, because this is a big opportunity. But I wanna get into the ISPO. Let's stay focused here. So comment down below if you're enjoying this. Get a cup of coffee. I'm trying to find that chart with 25%. Um, Here we go. The ISPO, 
they are allocating 25% of the tokens. This is why ISPOs are great. It's a great way for the project to accumulate funds. But what's so cool is that they're so generous with the, the amount that they're distributing. You can stake your Cardano. So I, I recommend, I mean, I'm liquidating quite a bit of my different tokens. I'm holding a lot of meld, but that's okay. But I want to get to 15,000 ADA, maybe 20,000, because the rewards are going to be great. Well worth it, in my opinion. So check out this video. I highly recommend checking it out. Not financial advice. 25% is allocated towards the ISPO. So the amount of tokens that you can get access to is sweet. Even though there's a lot of ADA already delegated and, and you know, it's going to be d diluted a little bit over time, I assume. In my opinion, this is where you want to delegate. This is why you've got a proof of stake blockchain like Cardano and what Dega is doing and all these different things. It's amazing, guys. Um, even if you scroll down, yeah, like this is cool. It looks like um, the basics here, deflationary, the method, um, free burning, EPY 7.7% staking for block rewards. So I believe you'll be able to delegate or stake when you have Dega in your wallet and you'll be able to earn some APY. Don't quote me on that. Or maybe you could even stake through their website. I'm not sure yet. This is all speculative. There's a total supply of 37.5 billion. Compared to Cardano, it's very similar. This token could hit a buck. Who knows? Not right away. I, I don't think so. There aren't a lot of white papers that look like this. Okay, and look at the advisors, right? You got Ken Oling, um, founder of Meld. Um, James, I don't know who he is. Um, founder and advisor, Queen Burrow guy. You got Daniel Kung. Um, but Carlos is doing a good job, man. CTO, I know these guys have been around for a while, man. Um, if you guys want, I have links for you in the description below. That is for online educational courses. Everything we talked about in this video that's important will be in the description below as well. I'll have a link for you. So with that being said, the moose is loose. Gotta go. Gotta make some trades. Gotta call Elon Musk. He wants me to train him for the Zuckerberg fight. I told him I'll just fight Zucks. The guy is weak. Peace.